The Midwest Women Business Owners Conference will bring together top women business leaders to discuss their careers and their businesses. And joining us is founder Erin Joy. Welcome, Erin. Thank you. So Thanks glad for to having have you. Me. Have you back here at STL TV? Um, we are so excited about the conference coming up second annual. It is at the end of October. It is. All right, so let's um, tell us a little bit about how and why you started this conference. Sure. So I have personally attended conferences and seminars and training programs all over the country for over 20 years as an entrepreneur and small business owner. And I noticed that we don't have the kind of conference that I'm producing here in St. Louis designed specifically for successful women business owners. Mm -hmm. And so I just knew uh, last year in 2015 it was time to bring an event of that caliber, I could say of this caliber, to the market. So here we are at the second annual. So this is a special interest of yours going back. It um, is. This uh, targeting very successful women who own their own businesses, um, not necessarily women who are members of large corporations. That's right. Right. And there's a lot of women in St. Louis who fit in that category. There it's are. It's actually surprising. Yeah, there are thousands of women business owners in St. Louis who have hundreds of thousands and many, many millions of dollars a year in annual sales. Mm -hmm. We That's our audience and that's who we serve. Mm -hmm. and that's exactly who's coming to the conference on October 28th. And the conference draws from outside of St. Louis as well. It does, yeah. yeah. It's titled the Midwest Women Business Owners Conference very purposely because we want to bring women from outside of St. Louis to, uh, to Clayton uh, mm -hmm. at the Ritz-Carlton for the conference and to expose them, to, uh, expose women, local women business owners to uh, women outside of St. Louis and, and vice versa. Yeah, so you've been in your career a coach of many women and men um, who have successful, who are entrepreneurs. Yes. And do, did you find in your first, and obviously you, you realized there was an opportunity to bring these people together. Yeah. So last year at the first conference, did you find, and you had a wonderful attendance, I was there for part of the, mm -hmm. um, the conference and I'm so excited to go back this year for the whole thing. Um, did you know most of these women? Were they women that you had worked with before or did you find that word kind of spread and you're bringing in women that you didn't know were out there? Oh, absolutely. I'm bringing in women that I don't know are out there and they're there are successful women business owners in so many industries, whether it's manufacturing or uh, automobile dealerships mm -hmm. uh, to technology companies and marketing companies. It's not women who are in these, I could say, stereotypical female um, roles, but mm -hmm. there are successful women business owners in every industry you can imagine, and there are thousands of them. Right. And in the case of the conference, we're bringing together at least hundreds of them on one day mm -hmm. uh, for, to learn and to network. Yeah, and this isn't a, a fair, if you will, it's not an opportunity to be, uh, to have vendors there talking nope. and, and, and selling their their services. This is yeah. an opportunity for women to really come together in a big room and, and talk and hear from professionals. Is that yeah, right? it is. Yeah, there's no vendors. It's nothing. It's not. Um, it's not something that's offered here in town, mm -hmm. uh, except for our event. And so there are very successful women who will be on stage with me all day long, sharing about how they have mastered areas of their business, like marketing and management operations and leadership, the yeah. kind of very hard-hitting topics that successful women business owners struggle with and are successful with. Yeah. Um, and they'll be sharing how they're mastering those areas and how they develop a growth mindset. Right. So in the women that attended last year and that are attending this year, is there a... Um a place where they all are at it typically in the lifeline of their business are they are they start out, like at the beginning or they have they been in business for five or ten years is there kind of a general rule of thumb of what you've seen yeah so we work with my company works with two different uh, markets women who are working to get their businesses up over a million dollars a year in annual mm -hmm. revenue and those who have between 1 million and 50 million annual mm -hmm. revenue mm -hmm. and so those are the two two audiences that we're out to serve and that's who will be in the room mm -hmm. very good all right yeah. we're going to take a quick break right now and come back and talk much more about the conference and who's coming. Great. So we'll have more with the Midwest Women Business Owners Conference and Erin Joy after this. Stay with us.